Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Um, this is a new, uh, I guess, format, a new kind of show we're looking to launch. Um, it's called the Global Cap Report. Um, what we're going to do today is uh, kind of take a look at, you know, what's released around the world. Um, usually our uh, Far East correspondent, um, the Hoon Report is featured um, on This Week in Caps, but um, we haven't done one of those in a while. And uh, we kind of just scoured the internet to kind of see what's um come out um that's you know not exclusive to to uh north america so jay are you ready yeah man uh, i'm excited to see what's coming up because they get some crazy stuff overseas especially in asia different mm -hmm. materials different teams different colors so mm -hmm. i'm excited to see what what uh what we got coming up around the world yeah and you usually don't have your um crawler kind of uh send out the release report for anything outside of america really right well yeah i mean most like 99 percent of my followers in the united states so uh, if if they can't get it without a proxy i don't really want to want to feature it too much okay. uh that and the language barrier on some of these websites um it can get a little costly to translate that stuff so okay um, it's just not it's just not worth worth it for my audience fair enough so safe to say you probably haven't seen any of these i probably haven't seen many of these now okay all right so yeah. let's start. Um, oops, let's start in Japan. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, who's that guy? Um, the drivers, diners, and oh, Guy Fieri. Yeah, this screams like Guy Fieri meets Affliction shirt meets Ed Hardy douchebag. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, ten years ago. If Ed Hardy, Affliction, and Guy Fieri all attended a a party and got a little crazy, this would be their the result. I feel like uh, if you ran past someone wearing this really fast, you could probably give them a seizure. <laughs> just shake your head. Yeah. I yeah. Just... Yeah. These these are definitely a little much for me. Um, I, I, there's definitely a market for it, and and uh, in Japan, they definitely love their embroidery. Um, they throw embroidery on everything. It's weird. And then the the brims even got a bunch of crap on it. Oh, and the oh, I didn't even notice the the logo is a double logo, and the back one is upside down. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's got That's... a stamp stamp on the brim. The front <laughs> is like distorted, like you got punched in the face. Oh, the yeah. These. I'm sure they enjoy them in Japan. I someone, hope they posted do. This, someone posted these in the group and 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 uh, someone was already like, I need the Dodger one. I was so confused, but uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. To each their own. Yeah. Um, staying in Japan, they came up with this grizzly bear looking thing. Uh, this is uh, from the California state flag. Yep. yep. Um, the bear is made out of paisley. Yeah, a you know, paisley pattern. Um, using all paisley objects in, in the shapes to create the bear. That's kind of cool. It's kind of um, cool, but it's kinda, it's kind of cheap looking, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Again, I <laughs> I really want to like this. Yeah. I just don't think it's executed very well. Yeah. It's a cool idea, but I don't know for a high. Yeah. Uh, especially, well, I mean, if they flip that UV around. And just put that on the under. I think if they just made the uh, bear normal, yeah, and did what make you the did. bear normal and put that paisley pattern on the under. Uh, this is a cool looking hat, but as it sits, I mean, you, you got a real the flag either. But like the flag is an eyesore right there. Yes, it definitely is standing out. Make it brown. Make it black. Do I mean? Yeah, even red. Even yeah, even red would be cool too. Um, and this is so close to being a, a very cool hat. But uh, it is unique, though. You never see nothing like this. I like I do, man. I do like that pattern on the visor as an under visor. I do like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. yeah you got to really love your Paisley and your bandanas to, to <laughs> grab this one, I think. Paisley bear. Paisley bear. All right. OK. This one's kind of interesting. It reminds me of some someone's like curtains or something. Yeah. Or, or grandma's sofa. Um, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I do kind of like this one. Is it denim? Um, 
I don't know if it's denim or just like micro embroidery. Um, denim. I it is denim. I could be wrong. I'm not a huge patterns. fan of denim hats. It's got some crazy um, patterns in it. I think it's got to be denim because it's probably just like either distressed. Okay. Pressed in there, maybe heat pressed. I don't know, man. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is all right. I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't run to buy it. I wouldn't run to at, buy it. If you're I at mean, the store, somewhere. you might pick it up. <laughs> uh, you know, if it's on clearance or somebody gifted it to me, I might wear it. Mm-hmm. But it's not something I'm going to run out and buy. Yeah. Yeah. This one's interesting. All right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So um, a lot of mm-hmm. the stores have been coming out with like those kind of timeline-ish hats. Mm-hmm. One of the big throw like things that kind of throw off the hat, there's nothing in the middle, right? Sure, yeah. Um, and some people don't like the years. So okay. like they have a low profile version of the Dodger hat, but it has all the different um, Dodger logos around it. Missing the mm-hmm. green panel, but you know. <laughs> um, looks like it's that, that idea just hasn't of, caught on. Yeah. Framed on some sort of like plaque or something. That's, uh, cool. that's probably just a marketing thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I... That's interesting. They put the embroidery right over the seam like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, they do it on the front, I guess, all the time. So it's that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. Uh, if bad, you right? like, a, yeah, if you like all over hats, um, hopefully they come out with a, a regular profile version of it. Yeah. Um, if it wasn't low pro, I think I'd go for it. Yeah. But yeah, I, it, it definitely is more uniform, at least. Then going panel to panel to panel. Yeah, more symmetric, I guess, if you yeah. will. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that was not bad. I can get on board with that. And then the uh, Yankee one with the all over uh, kind of thing. You got the roses. It looks like trust no one. Um, it's got some script on it. The twenty seven champion. Um, yeah, it's got some patches on the side. I don't know. It's just, I feel like sometimes like when you make hats like this, it loses the uniqueness. When you kind of just kind of do a cookie cutter approach, because I'm 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 guessing since it says 27 time champion, that any mm-hmm. other one will say like we're a seven time champion or whatever. Yeah, I I did see the Braves one, um, okay. and for some reason, the Braves have a few championships in their history, but they only put like 1996 instead of like two time or or three time. So um, we're definitely not going to see a Mariners one in this lineup. Um, <laughs> But uh, hmm. I, these look like those like heavily embroidered, like dress, like those kind of almost denim dress shirts that people wear with the right. like, like you wear them to like a, I don't know, like a fucking line dancing bar. Yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a market for this stuff. Um, I'm not in that market. If if they leave the rose off of it, yeah. or it's got the- leave the yeah i like the rose i like the the script and i like the patch just not all on the same hat yeah it's a little much mm-hmm. all right let's see what else we got uh going to new era mexico so it looks like okay. the same hats um but that's interesting we got, we got different versions so like the yeah. world champ like this is what i'm talking about see it's like it's just a cookie cutter okay put the champ thing here all right put the rose here okay put the you know it's not mm-hmm. like any of them are unique when you look at them all together. Right. Um, so if New Era Japan and New Era Mexico have these, I'm guessing this is some sort of global release. So it's possible we'll see these in the United States at some point. It's possible. I feel like sometimes these global releases, yeah, like the other countries release them first. Maybe the um, source. Or... Well, yeah, I think uh, the ports have a lot to do with it too. Like New yeah. Era... U.S. waits to get all the hats in, in the warehouse before they put them up online. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe Mexico ports aren't as backed up as the United States one. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, usually when it lands on both of those, it usually comes to the United States at some point too. So yeah, not something I'm going to rush out and buy, but I can see see people liking these. It's always weird with the chant part, right? It's like, okay, yeah, we're yeah. seven times now. It's like, okay, well, what if the Dodgers win again? Already, it's already which there's a really good chance they're going to that yeah. lineup they've built exactly all right let's just throw this out of the way after you 
All right, going to Malaysia. Uh, we got a Zizan Razak. Um, okay. I have no clue who he is other than he's Malaysian. I know that he's got almost 8 million followers on Instagram, but uh, okay. I signed you to learn a little bit about him. So that- yeah, so I did like a 30-second Google search <laughs> and found out he's a, a comedian, actor, um, rapper, singer, businessman in Malaysia. So um, he's got quite the filmography. Um, he's got, yeah, it's a, it's a loaded wiki page for sure. Yeah, so first thing I noticed is the hat off top. I thought it was a CR, but I guess it's a, a ZR. ZR, yeah. What do you think of that hat? Um, yeah, and it says logo. Um, mm. I mean, it'd be, it'd be nice to know with ZR project. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it's his, maybe like, it's his found, foundation or something. His initials, I think. Well, I, yeah, the ZR is his initials, but I don't know what the project is. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of his, I could see why you'd uh, run out and get this. Yeah, it sucks. It's just so plain. Like he went black under. Yeah. Why not? It's like, this is like the, the lid special. Well, you know, I mean, there's definitely different tastes around the world, right? Like, yeah. um, like here, we're not a huge fan of the black hunters. Mm-hmm. Um, Europe, Europe, they love them. Um, and maybe in Malaysia, they like the black and white hats with the, the black under. So it's, it's hard to tell. It's um, I didn't even know New Era had a Malaysian site. Oh, yeah. 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 They're big following in New Era. They even have like flagship stores in it. In, uh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, but they got they got their own thing. So, cool. Um, staying in Malaysia, we got these guys, the Budak Bayak collection. Yeah, this is a monster. I think this was some type of collaboration, right? Yeah, it looks like I think to me it looks like this is some sort of like TV show or rap group, and this is a mascot they're doing. Um, some Sesame Street kind of. Yeah. Elmo eight, uh, Cookie Monster and yeah, Elmo, yeah. Um, so the hat itself, again, they're going all black with the black under. It looks like um, they do have a Laker color one down there. I think that's a snap though. Um, hmm. It's funny. It's like these guys could be like the most famous people in the world, and we're just like, yeah, who is this? Yeah. Guy? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, these are, you know, group and, and television show, you know, licensed hats, right? So uh, their followers are going to eat them up, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else is releasing around the world. All right. So this was available in Malaysia and Hong Kong, from what I could tell. Might have been, uh, okay. uh, uh, I guess, a, an Asian release, but um, Valentine's Day. So New York has a couple cards and. The king and the queen looks like it's a different style hat adjustable maybe uh, okay not a 59.50 that's for sure yeah um i like the logo yeah um interesting i don't know if i could get my queen to actually get a hat like that though um so <laughs> i'd look a little odd with just this little king sitting on the hat with the rose um with the rose. yeah with the rose but no, I do like the logo. Uh, I definitely like the playing card style stuff. Um, the Raiders went heavy in that when when they moved to Las Vegas. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think a couple other teams did did too, right? For the draft, because the draft was there was a few. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So Hong Kong had these as well. So this Ooh. is Bob on drugs. It looks like um, none of them fifty nine fifty, unfortunately, um, but still some cool stuff. Yeah, this is definitely interesting. Um, Look at his teeth, man. Jeez. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder who the artist is behind this because it's you know, you know, not the SpongeBob people. So I wonder how they they pulled off the licensing and stuff for this. Um, but this is kind of cool. Yeah, if you're a SpongeBob fan, I can see it. Um, Are you? Nine fifties looks like some different. Nine twenties. That's thirty nine thirties maybe. Yeah. Some buckets, yeah, dude. I like the I like the art though. That's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But uh, I think that's it. That's it. Yeah. So that's 
that's your uh, global cap report uh, for the week of March 9th. So okay. Hopefully, um, yeah, and, and send this, send them into us. You know, like if you see something um, that releases outside of North America, you know, mm -hmm. send it over. Or outside of the United States, even like, yeah, uh, maybe not Canada. We cover Canada pretty well, but like uh, Mexico, Australia, uh, um, New Era Europe, New Era Malaysia, Japan, Korea. Um, not sure if there's one in Russia. There's Hong Kong, Brazil, yeah. Chile. Oh, yeah, Brazil. Chile, yeah. you know, um, let us know. Colombia, I believe, even has one. Nice. Um, but yeah, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a different kind of um, video, you know, something short we want to uh, kind of throw it together for you guys to keep you guys abreast to uh, the happenings in the cap world. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments, you know, what you guys think, um, some of your favorites, some of the misses, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, until next time, you know, uh, stay fitted and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace. We out. Peace out.